right now I'm here and my uh, sole intention was to come back and uh, play for FC Twente. I think people expected you a little bit earlier than you arrived. What happened? Uh, well, there were some complications, obviously. I contracted COVID, so I was delayed for about two weeks in the States. And then um, I got an injury while I was there. I think it was around the end of November. It's a medial uh, meniscus, um, which was repaired. Um, so it happened during a training session. It was just an unlucky moment. Um, no one to blame for it. Just it just happened, just a collision between uh, two guys, and then yeah, and here I am. They repaired it, that was still in the States? That was still in the States, yeah. So if you already had your operation in November, um, how come that they thought you were joining the squad. What happened there? A little bit miscommunication or? Uh, no, I mean, I also expected to, uh, uh, to heal uh, quicker than, uh, than, uh, than it's happening right now. It took a little bit longer maybe than expected, the rehab, but still after an operation, did you think you could already really join the squad or did you know, well, that's not really realistic yet? Uh, I just thought that's, that's not really realistic. Um, but but did Twente know that? Did Twente know that? Um, I don't think uh, Twente knew the whole situation. Um, but um, they did know I wasn't fit. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that happened. And I don't think it was a train smash for Twente or I because we have plans. And um, those plans could benefit um, um, both parties too, so uh, it's good that I'm here and I'm getting stronger. I need you to do three jumps with left, three good jumps with two seconds balance. One, two, three, perfect, much better, good. Rehab is not um, a pleasant thing to do, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, it's been challenging, but you also see the results and you also see yourself coming back to your normal self. Okay, come on, maximum. And one. Oh. Holy shit. Come on. Really? It's all green. Here, you're stronger on the right side. That's now. awesome, man. Yeah. I saw you with Wouter doing some tests and he was really happy to see the results. So that's a good sign. Yeah, it's a good sign. Uh, comparing to my previous uh, results. The girls were complimenting you, yeah. the FC20 ladies. Yeah, yeah, and I felt comfortable. It's always good to have uh, <laughs> Women compliment compliments. you or just have compliments no, in just general? No, just to have compliments in general. Yeah, it's always good. In your psyche, you know that you're going to come back um, a stronger footballer than before because I've had injuries before and um, I've always uh, come back stronger. Easy. Okay. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> Let's take it back a little bit after you left at Twente because you left uh, for England, for Brentford. Yeah. How were the years over there? Yeah, I think that was a place that kept me alive, you know, in a way. Kept me alive when it comes to going to training sessions, playing football, everything was sharp, everything was intense. So I had to really step up my game there a lot. Yeah, and that went well for me. I played a lot of games, scored a few goals, yeah. like I always do here and there. So. Um, I think uh, I learned the most uh, in my football career at Brentford. That's why right now I don't shy away from any challenges or any setbacks that I might experience because um, I know um, the mentality and also the physicality that's, uh, that's expected, you know, at the top. And then you decided to go for an adventure, to go to uh, the States, <laughs> yeah. to Cincinnati. I made the choice because there were a lot of um, uh, people that I knew and I felt I needed. Yapstam was the coach over there. Yapstam you know, was there, Gerrit Nijkamp was there. 
they had a project that was really attractive and that I wanted to be a part of. Um, You're then, laughing a little because I just said also, of course, the money, but I think that helps, right? It's big money over there. Yeah, of course, of course, the money helps. Um, but it was not just the money, it was the, the project too, you know, but sometimes both parties, you know, realize that this is not a, a good match. Why wasn't it a good match for you? <sighs> I feel like in America, everything is still free flowing and it's still developing. For me, I just think it's, it's the timing, you know, the timing of my move, the timing of where I moved to. Uh, even though I enjoyed the life there, Europe is what I'm familiar to and uh, where I want to be. But there's, there's no regrets. And these are the things that, that help you grow. It's not always going to be nice you no. know, and smooth. No. And I think my career has been anything but smooth. You know, uh, so... How do you mean? I mean, like, everywhere I had to go, I had to fight for my place. I will always have this mentality that I have that I will always survive, I will always thrive. I think that's just the person I am. I know Ralphia from my, uh, my previous period at Twente. He did a lot of injuries that, that I had and he's somebody that I trust. Yeah, he took me in with both arms and he said, um, you're welcome. Um, I know he's a very straight guy and you need to do a lot of work and his methods are very challenging. You knew what you could expect here? Uh, yeah, you could say so. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not completely? No, not completely. <laughs> You're laughing a little bit like it's harder than you expected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I realized in the, in the process that uh, things were, were harder than I thought they would be. But yeah, things are always hard. But when it comes to my um, um, football quality, uh, that's not something I worry about. But where it's about strength and uh, being physical. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm developing here. That's going to help me a lot playing even for five, six years to come. You hope you can, you still have like five or six years to yeah, come. Yeah, I have that ambition. Okay, yeah. a good ambition. Yeah. yeah. Dream big, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the contacts with Twente started again. What made you decide that's the place that I want to return yeah, then for now? This is a place that I still wanted to have a few more years just to... Why is that? I just feel like the club deserves more, you know, yeah because they have a great stature, you know, like, uh, and I felt also I could um, uh, bring the experience um, that I have and uh, to help them. What are your plans with the club? Uh, the plans at the moment are to get fit <laughs> yeah. and probably have um, a few training sessions with the team. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we make a decision. So but, you can go anywhere you want, of course. You are free. Yeah, of course. I'm, yeah, I'm transfer free. When it comes to to getting a club, uh, I'm not. I'm not really worried about that because I know I will. Yeah, but I don't think that will be the problem. I think you can choose. But um, how many cards does Twente have then, if they want you? If there will be bigger clubs who are also interested? No, I mean, I'll be straight with Twente and. You know, and they'll be straight with me, of course, on um, what they want, mm -hmm. and I'll be straight with them on what I want. But you know, it's it's I cannot give like a, a definitive answer no, when, okay. it, when it comes to that. But um, right now, I'm here, and my uh, sole intention was to come back and uh, play for FC Twente. Obviously, I have a very warm feeling towards the club. But also there's the other side of things. There has to be a, a, a balance, the club side, the project, and the financial side. You can already join the squad. Will it already happen this season? Or are you looking for pre-season next season? No, looking at the way things are going, yeah. it looks like it's going to happen this season. Okay. Um, I just need to make sure I stay the course. Yeah. Uh, of my rehab. I'm really looking forward to that. At the end of the day, you know, I'm just, I'm just a footballer and I just want to be on the pitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You still call yourself the general? Ah, uh, yeah. That's what people call me. <laughs> you called yourself yeah, the but, general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I, uh, I'm still the general. Okay. I'm still the general.